Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time, and all the time the Lord is good. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Uh, you're welcome to our hour of freedom. Our hour of freedom, a time of confronting and conquering all of our fears, all of our challenges, uh, all obstacles that might be on the way. And we pray that as you, as we gather and we fellowship, we hear God's word and pray today that everything that is a challenge, everything that is a problem, the Lord will make it become a plain, become plain in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says something in the book of Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. It said, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So I say to everyone that is a part of this cast today, that as you come, as you have come today to, to hear God's word and pray, the Lord is saying to you, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Before we go ahead, we'll just have the opening prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, we bless you for this evening, a time and hour of freedom, a time that we have to look to you again, to look to the heavens where our help cometh from. Father, we thank you, we bless you for all that you continue to do in our lives, for your presence is ever real in our lives. Your presence is ever felt in our lives. Father God, will you show up everywhere, everywhere in our lives? And for this, we are grateful, we are thankful. Father, even as we hear your word today and pray, we declare, Lord God Almighty, that you will reach everyone at the point of need in the name of Jesus Christ. Precious Holy Spirit, we invite you even into our midst today and we declare that the words that we are going to hear, they will be spirit and they will be life in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not be the sweet sounding words of men, but the words of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Before I call pastor on board, I just want to say a few things. Uh, the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 says something. It says, but I will restore you to your health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast, because you are called an outcast, Zion for whom no one cares. So, Perhaps anyone here today that have been a part of this cast, uh, someone has called you an outcast, someone has called you a failure, someone has said there is nothing good that will come out of you. God is saying to you through these words today that I will restore you back to health. I will heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are you have been called an outcast, because you are Zion for whom no one cares. So you might be saying you don't have help. You might be saying that no one is coming to your head. You might be saying you have been forgotten. God is opening a day, a book of remembrance back for you and is saying to you that it will restore you back to normalcy. It will restore your health. It will restore your job. It will restore everything that the devil has taken away. It will restore it. It will heal your wounds because the world has called you an outcast. Because the word has said, no one cares for you. The Lord God Almighty will care for you. The Lord God Almighty will look your way today in the name of Jesus Christ. And that also reminds me of what the Bible says in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25 that says uh, that God himself will restore back, he will repay you back uh, the days, the days that the locust has eaten. The, is it the, the caterpillar? Is it the canker worm? Is it the parma worm? All the things that have been lost in the past, God is saying that today, 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 as you dare to exercise your faith, today it's, there will be restoration, today there will be recovery. And I pray that everyone that would dare, that would dare to believe these words today, the Lord God Almighty will bring a permanent solution to that challenge in the name of Jesus Christ. And the glory that has departed, the glory that has departed, perhaps they've called you Ichabod, 
I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the glory of God will return back to your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of God will return back to your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you. Without much ado, I would invite Pastor to come and share the word with us today and lead us into the words of prayer. Pastor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 3, if you are there, please open to Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 3. Tonight is our hour of freedom. We'll be praying tonight, Isaiah 60, 1 to 3. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. I want you to open your mouth tonight and say, Father, tonight I will arise, I will shine, for my light has come. Shall you open your mouth, open your mouth and begin to declare tonight. Begin to confess, begin to decree it. Tonight, Lord, I will arise and shine, for my light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree it tonight. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare tonight, Father, I will arise. Lord, I will shine for my light has come for the glory of the Lord has risen upon my life. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy to your destiny. Begin to prophesy to your life. Begin to prophesy to your children. Begin to prophesy to your destiny. Begin to declare clear right now and say tonight oh God according to your word how we arise and shine for my light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me in the name of Jesus I decree tonight father everyone under the sound of my voice I decree we will arise and shine in the name of Jesus begin to decree your children will arise and shine in the name of Jesus begin to decree tonight hey your relationship will arise and shine. Everything God has written concerning you, begin to declare them right now. Tonight is a night of prayer. Begin to declare Father, according to your word in Isaiah 60, I will arise, I will shine, for my light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Begin to declare it right now. Begin to declare it. With your mouth, begin to prophesy it. With your tongue, begin to declare it. That from tonight, I will arise Arise and shine from every pit of shame. I will arise and shine from every sickness. I will arise and shine. Begin to declare tonight from poverty. I will arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare tonight that everything the devil has brought you into, to now begin to declare the word of God. Begin to release that word tonight. Say, Father, according to your word, I will arise, I will shine. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray tonight, begin to pray tonight, begin to pray tonight. I will arise and shine. Rakata I will arise and shine. Begin to declare tonight. Begin to declare tonight. Begin to declare tonight. Father, according to your word, how we arise and shine tonight in the name of Jesus. I we arise and shine in my health. I we arise and shine. Begin to declare right now. May you arise and shine from shame to honor in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from failure to success in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from death death to life in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from sickness to health in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from sorrow to joy in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from sorrow to joy in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from barrenness to fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from poverty to wealth in the name of Jesus. May you arise and shine from lack to abundance in the name of Jesus. I pray for you to 
anointed child of God, may you arise and shine. May every shackles of the enemy, may everything the devil is bringing against your life, against your destiny, wherever your glory has been hijacked, tonight may you arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, may you arise and shine. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, I declare unto you tonight, may you arise and, and shine in every area of your life. Wherever your faith has been trampled down, I have come to not as a prophet of the Most High God. I have come to not as ordained of God. I have come to not to declare unto you that by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I declare from tonight, you will arise and shine in the name of Jesus. Every garment of sorrow upon your life, I command it right now by the power of God to tear into pieces, to tear into pieces. Every garment of infirmity, every garment of sorrow, every garment of weeping, every garment of untimely death, every arrow that been fired against your life, I decree tonight you arise. From those challenges you arise. No matter what is that challenge, by the power in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you tonight, you will Arise and shine in the name of Jesus. Amen. So now by the grace of God, we'll be looking at recovering of glory. Recovering of glory. You know, Jesus said in John chapter 17, verse 22, it says, and the glory which you gave me, I have given to them. John chapter 17, verse 22. And the glory which you gave me, I have given to them. Listen. Sin destroys the image of God in our lives, friends. Sin destroys the image of God in our lives. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 3, that all have sinned and fall short of the glory, mark that word, of the glory of God. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Amen. So, whenever you see somebody begin to to live in sin, they are permitting the devil to take away the glory that Jesus has given unto us. They are permitting the enemy to take it away. Hallelujah. So, when God created Adam and Eve, he made, the Bible says, they were created in the image and the likeness of God. The glory of God was upon them until they were deceived by the devil. They were deceived and they lost it. They lost the glory of God upon their lives. Genesis 1, 27. Amen. Can I share this thing with you tonight? You know, before No Glory Church started, I had a vision where I saw all nations, all tribes, all languages. They were dancing, praising God, posting in praise, praising God. They were rejoicing and praising God. As I looked, I saw that these people were so happy. And it was as if a curtain was drawn. I began to see their past. I began to see their past. That some of them were people who were rejected by the community. Some of them were people who were rejected by their families. Some of them were people, hardened criminals, who their past, some of them were into all kinds of things, all kinds of, of, of wicked living. Some of them were children who were not able to concentrate in school. Some of them were people who the enemy has given vanity that these ones will never become anything good in life. And I saw all these people dancing. As I was dancing, I saw the pair of hand beautifying them with new glory, giving them a new garment. And the garment was written, new glory, new glory, new glory. And they began to praise God. They began to rejoice. They began to rejoice. They began to rejoice. They began to rejoice. I said, wow, glory be to your name, Father. Glory be to your name, Father. And he says, listen, that whoever, as I began to inquire, God, what is the meaning of this? God said that no matter who the person is, no matter, God is saying that he will restore destinies. He will restore his glory upon lives. So hear me tonight. If you are connected with new glory, this is one of the covenants we have with God. That no matter your past, no matter what man has said against you, no matter 
matter the report of the doctors, no matter what diagnosis, no matter what anyone has said over your life, no matter your past, it may have been a murderer yesterday. God is saying, if you are willing, he will give you a garment of new glory. If you are willing, he will beautify your life. If you are willing, he will change your destiny. Anything God cannot do does not exist. The Bible says, with him, all things are possible. Anything God cannot do for you. I don't want you to begin to look at that your uncle. Begin to look at that your parents. Begin to look at that man or woman and say, because I don't have any helper. That is why I am in this situation. Can I submit to you tonight that if you can submit to God, God will send helpers your way in the name of Jesus. So God is about bringing people who will beautify you. God is about releasing new glory, the garment of new glory tonight. Do you know what it means? That tonight you will walk from sickness to health in the name of Jesus. Tonight you will walk from shame to honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. So hear me tonight. No matter what you are going through, that same covenant, that same covenant that God said, my son, this is what I want to do in new glory. This is what I want to do in new glory. Anyone that will connect to new glory in truth and in spirit, that this is my covenant, my son. Whoever that will tap into this covenant, their life, their marriage, their health, their finances, if they can hear to my word, I will change their story. And so if you are here tonight in new glory, I want to say congratulations. Because the covenant you are in is a covenant of life, is a covenant of wealth, is a covenant of wrong life, is a covenant of prosperity, is a covenant that says, no matter the report of man, God is able to turn it around for good in the name of Jesus. I don't care what the situation is. It may be, you may be watching tonight, whether on social media or here in your glory, and you're saying, but pastor, you don't understand. My case is already closed. The doctors has already said, I can, this cannot happen to me anymore. Hear me. Anything God cannot do does not exist. So therefore tonight, I prophesy to your life. God will visit you afresh in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. From this order of new glory, I prophesy to you, child of God, your life will change from tonight in the name of Jesus. I say your life will change from tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, God created Adam and Eve in his image and after his likeness. And then the devil in his evil wisdom was so jealous. I said, how can God create this man in his image? How can God love them so much? He began to say, how can I destroy this thing God has created? How can I destroy that relationship with God? As you're hearing me tonight, you don't know the devil is planning how to destroy your relationship with God. The same way he did to Adam and Eve, he is still doing it today, trying to destroy relationship with God. So he told Adam and Eve, he made them to sin against God. When they sinned against God, they lost the glory that God gave to them. They lost it to Satan. Tonight, I prophesy to you, anyone that has lost the glory of God upon their lives, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I decree restoration tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, friends, whenever we give the devil a place in our life, we, we, we give him the glory. We allow him to seal the glory from us. Every time we, we sin, we open the door for the enemy to attack the image of God in us. And therefore, stealing our glory, the glory that God has given to us. But glory be to God, because Jesus died so that we can recover the glory that Adam and Eve lost to the devil. Jesus died. The Bible says Jesus has given us his glory. He has crowned us with glory and honor in Hebrews 2, 7. Hallelujah. So as we pray tonight, Tonight is another prayer. As we pray tonight, I want you to know that everything, no matter what it is, that's working against you right now, if you can turn back to God, any 
doorway you have given to the enemy to see the glory of God from you. If you can cry out to God tonight, God is going to restore. God is going to beautify you again. God is going to put a new garment upon your life afresh in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we pray tonight, God will cause your light to rise again from obscurity. God is going to make your darkness to become like a new day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we burden our head in prayer? The thing that destroys the image of God, the glory of God is sin. That thing called sin. Satan is still coming today to destroy the relationship of man and his maker, God. I want you to ask God right now for mercy. Ask God right now for mercy. And perhaps you're hearing us tonight and you're not born again. And you want to give your life to Jesus. Please. Do so before we pray tonight. Because if you don't make peace with God, every prayer we're going to pray tonight may not be of benefit to you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Bible says in Isaiah, Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2, it said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, nor his ear heavy that he cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. God is willing to save us. God is willing to help us. God is willing to deliver us. But are we willing to say, God, here am I, have mercy upon me. Are we willing to say, God, the Bible says in 1 John 3, that if we confess our sins, he is merciful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from every unrighteousness. Are you willing to pray tonight, talk to God? Anything the enemy may want to hold against you, to prevent you from entering into the plan of God, to prevent you, your glory from shining. The Bible says Jesus came to restore the glory that Adam lost. He said, I have given it to you. I have given it to you. The glory you gave to me, John 17, 22, and the glory which you gave me, I have given them, is the glory of God manifesting upon your life. Ask God right now for mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Ask God right now to cleanse you with a blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. This is a solemn moment. If you're here, you're not born again yet. I want to give you the opportunity right now to, to make Jesus your Lord. We're going to pray really hard tonight. We're going to pray tonight some prophetic prayers. Hallelujah. Ask God right now to show you mercy. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I can hear the Spirit of God is saying, I want to pour down my rain. I want to bless you. Rain or blessing is about coming to you. But you need to clear. You need to remove. I cannot pour the new wine into an old wine skin. God is saying, clear the debts away. Clear it away by the blood of Jesus. Because I want to do something in your life. This is a prophetic move of somebody. Clear it away. Anything that will prevent God from visiting you. He says his hand is not shortened that he cannot deliver you. I don't know what you want God to do for you. The Bible is saying that here God's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. Neither his ear dull that he cannot hear. But our sins... Ask God tonight to cleanse you. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. His blood cleanses from sin. His blood purifies. His blood saves. His blood delivers. Open your mouth tonight and ask God, wash me tonight. Wash me tonight. Wash me with your blood. Mali talaba. Wash me with your blood. In the name of Jesus. Wash me with your blood. Male kendelema. Rikanda shikalaba. Reke telebos. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray to another. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 7. Hebrews 2, 7. It says, you have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor. And set him over the works of your hands. You're going to pray to another. I say, Father, according to your word, you have crowned him with glory and honor. Tonight, let my life be crowned with glory and honor. In the name of Jesus. Let my life be crowned with glory and honor. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, I according to your word, let my life be crowned with glory and honor. Let my destiny be crowned with glory and honor. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth 
I begin to decree tonight, oh God, crown my life with glory and honor. According to your word in Hebrews 2 7, crown my life with glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Lord, set me over the works of your hands in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand. I have dominion. I can't say Begin to declare tonight. From tonight, I will walk in dominion in the name of Jesus. Rikata Sakataram. Begin to declare right now tonight. Begin to decree. Father, tonight, my life is crowned with glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Tonight, the glory of God will begin to manifest upon my life. The glory of God will begin to manifest upon my destiny, upon my children's life, upon your glory in the name of Jesus. But put your mouth tonight and begin to declare. Rikata Sakataram. Begin to pray for yourself tonight. Tonight, oh God, according to your word, let my life begin to manifest the glory of God. Let my destiny begin to manifest the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. He says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. Begin to decree. You, my destiny, you will arise and shine in the name of Jesus. You, my children's destiny, you will arise and shine in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to decree it tonight. Every area of your life that is down, that is not rising, that is not shining, is it your finances? Is it your employment? Is it your children's destiny? Are you watching your children and this are not working the way it should be. Open your mouth tonight and decree and say, you, my children, arise and shine tonight. My glory, the glory of God upon my life, arise and shine tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Wherever my glory has been buried, I command tonight, let it be resurrected in the name of Jesus. Let the glory of my life be resurrected. Any man or woman that's messed around with my glory, tonight they've come to recover my glory. I come to recover the glory of God upon my life. I come to recover my destiny from the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, every star hunter that's hunted down my glory, that's hunted down my glory, begin to declare tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. You, my glory, I recover you tonight. Wherever you are buried, I command you to rise up tonight. You, the glory of my children, the employment of my children, Children, the blessings of my family. I recover you tonight. I recover you tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to declare tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Something is happening. Something is happening. Malema, lema, lema, lema. I recover my glory tonight. Yes, Edna, pray. Pray this prayer very well. Begin to declare. My soul to Katabaham. Rekete Sekete. My life Katabaha. Rebra Sotoba. As we share this message on Social media, my leader was I declare, let your glory, let your glory be restored in the name of Jesus. My sake tonight, wherever any power fighting you from your father's house, from your mother's house, begin to declare tonight. My legate secete koto kete kete baha. We can the son the baha. Begin to declare tonight. I am walking free from every manipulation of the kingdom of darkness. I am walking free from failure. I am walking free. From sickness, open your mouth and pray. I am walking free tonight. My every walk to the enemy. My life, you, my life, receive the glory of God. You, my life, receive the glory of God. Begin to prophesy to your destiny. Begin to decree tonight. Tonight, something is happening. I can see angels of God are moving tonight. Things are happening. Things are happening. You are recovering things tonight. You are recovering things tonight. Everything you have lost, right? You are recovering it tonight. Malakata Shaba, Rekete Seketem, you are recovering tonight. Begin to declare, say tonight, oh God, my little man, my life will not be stagnant anymore. You speak of stagnancy, my declare to not be broken off in the name of Jesus. My destiny will not be stagnant, my home will not be stagnant. 
I decree will begin to move at the Spirit of God. Open your mouth tonight and pray. Open your mouth tonight and pray. God is moving tonight. Masakata Baba, Rekete Sete, Mali Maliba. I will not die before my time. I will not labor for another person to eat my labor. I will not labor and leave you behind. No, I will not labor for anyone to come and eat my labor. Lord, I will eat the fruit of my labor. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Tonight I will eat the fruit of my labor. Maleke Telebaham, Masutu Katashikabaya, Rikete Brosoto de Bosa, Malakata Shakaba, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Tonight I want us to pray. I know of somebody who worked so hard all her life. She worked so hard. She couldn't go on the proper holidays. No. She was saving money, waiting for the right time. She would enjoy it. Building house. Hey. And then before, when it was time for her to retire to enjoy it, immediately strength sickness came. Before you know it, she's gone. You're going to pray tonight and say, my case, Father, I will not labor for another to eat my labor. No way. I will not labor for somebody to enjoy my labor. That even as I'm laboring, I will eat the fruit of my labor. Somebody else will not give up my children in marriage. I will be the one that will give out my children in marriage. I will be the one that will give out my children. No person will take my place. Open your mouth and pray tonight. And say for tonight in the name of Jesus. Lakata Sakaba. And you feel to die before my time. No person will take my place. No person will take my labor. Rikata Sakaba. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Rikata Sakaba. Rumba eat the sin de lebosa. Lord, we declare tonight in the name of Jesus. We will not all go labor for another to take our place. For we decree, Lord, we will leave, Lord, to enjoy the fruit of our labor. We decree strength sickness will not take us untimely. In the name of Jesus, strength sickness will not take us untimely. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2 to 3, it says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your rising. You're going to pray today and say, Father, but the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon your life. You're going to decree tonight, Father, let your glory from henceforth be seen upon my life. Let your glory tonight be seen upon my life. My life, open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Let your glory, Father, according to your word, let your glory, Father, arise in my life, arise in new glory, arise, oh God. Everyone connected to new glory, arise tonight. Everyone watching us online, everyone here in new glory, Father, tonight I decree, arise tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your glory be seen upon us, let your glory be seen right now. Henceforth, oh God, let your glory be seen. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Something is happening. Something is happening. Malita Sakata Shakabaya. Rukoto Yakete City. Ring the Brosotaban. Somebody, a chain is being broken. I can see a chain breaking off from your hands. I can see a chain breaking off from your hands. I can see a chain breaking off from your hands. Randa Sakaba. I declare tonight that chain is broken. That chain of stagnancy is broken. That chain of failure is broken. That chain of infirmity is broken. I declare tonight. Rakato Soto Karabam. Every diagnosis from the doctors. I reverse it tonight. In the name of Jesus. I reverse it tonight. I reverse it tonight. Anything God cannot do does not exist. Therefore, I command tonight every part of your life in all ramification. Let there be a change. Rakata Sataba. I see Rita Soto Katashandra Bosa. Rembra Italaba. Rikataba. That individual. They are being in a port. In a port. In a port. This is strange. I know it is strange. But I can see a port with somebody inside that port closed. Closed. And every time you are feeling hot, you don't understand why you are feeling hot. But I can see a port sealed. A port sealed. A port sealed. I can see the angel of God holding that port. 
up now. That pot will be broken right now. Run the second bam. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Reke the second bam. Mali katabam. Rin the second bam. That pot be broken tonight. I command that pot be broken tonight. That pot where they put you in. Rin Baba Sakaba. Let it be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. I command that pot be broken. Rataba. Broken. By fire of God. I command that pot. That pot of sorrow. Where they put your life in. That pot of affliction. That pot of shame. That pot of failure. I command right now. That pot of strength sickness. You don't know where your sickness is coming from. But I come to light as a prophet of God. I come to light as a prophet of God. I declare right now. You are set free. Let that pot of affliction. Let it be broken now. 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 Be broken now. Be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Masandele Mayaba. Rikata si kalabaya. Hey, he says in verse 3, he said, the Gentiles shall come to your light. You're going to decree tonight, Father. Rando baya, I will begin to shine. And the Gentiles shall come to my light. Rikata si maya. I will not pass this word. I will not just pass this word unnoticed. notice. bayam. Tonight, the Gentiles shall come to my light. Open your mouth and begin to decree that your life will attract favor. Your life will attract favor. And the glory of God is restored upon your life. Tonight, your life will begin to attract favor. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Say, my life will attract favor. Tonight, Gentiles will come to my light. And the kings, to the brightness of my rising. The kings will come to the brightness of my rising. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rakata sekata yabam. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. My son do the kehi. My son do the kehi. My son do the kehi. My yakata shabayam. Rekete bayakaba. Rekete sekete. My lu brayende. In kanda sakabam. In kando ri bayabam. Re brayakete baha. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Today I want you to pray. I want you to say after me. Oh Lord, my Father, let the clock and the timetable of the enemy from my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the clock and the timetable of the enemy from my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to me before you pray this prayer. I want to explain something. You know, some people, if you go to certain families, you will see there's a cycle. If it's not a cycle of untimely death, at a certain age, that something has been programmed, they don't have to do anything. And I hear people saying, oh, don't tell people because you talk too much. Maybe my mom was talking too much. That's why she died. Maybe my grandfather was talking too much. It's not about talking too much. There is something, a program that has been put in place. It's like a timetable. It's like an alarm clock that if you set your alarm by 5 a.m., you know, at that certain time, by 5 you may be sleeping, but that alarm, because it has been said, is going to ring. Hallelujah. Because it has been said, some people's lives, they have been programmed. Demonic programming. It has been programmed at a certain age. Some certain sickness will come. I've had cases in the course of deliverance. I've had cases of some people. They will come and say, Pastor, please pray for me. Because at a certain month every year, this strict sickness must come to me. I must end up in hospital. I must end up in hell every at a certain month every year. Every year, this sickness must come. Some people is failure at a certain at a certain month. Everything they will do that month will be wasted. They can be working, 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 working so hard at a certain time. Everything will be carried away. It's like a wind will just blow, and everything is gone. Some people is about. Taking in pregnancy, anytime they are pregnant, they will see a cat or see something will jump upon them. Before you know it, they will miss that baby. The baby will, will be aborted. So people is at the full their breakthrough. That power will wait. Whenever any good thing want to come to them, the power will show up. And once that power shows up, that breakthrough is, is gone. It's gone. We're going to pray tonight. Some people is mental health, mental health, mental illness at a certain time. A certain age, you see them, they go into a family member, go through. So it's a, 
We're going to pray tonight. I don't know what your case is. I don't know what the enemy has been using to plague your life. But by the power of God tonight, you shall be set free in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, let the clock and the timetable of the enemy of my life be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Every evil timetable, every evil clock, open your mouth tonight and begin to pray. Let it be broken to pieces. Let it be destroyed tonight. Let it be destroyed tonight. Let it be destroyed tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed tonight. Masakata shakaba. Libra sekitaba. Yes, yeah, yeah. Begin to break them. Begin to break them. Malika bosutaba. Begin to break them. Begin to break them. Every time table of sorrow. So marriages, they are using their own time bomb. At a certain time, husband and wife will be doing well. At a certain season, divorce. That's when we will come and say now, nah, it is time to separate. It's time to divorce right now. Malakata sakaba. Open your mouth and pray. That's what of error. Somebody pray this prayer. Something is happening tonight. Pray this prayer. 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 Pray this Pray this prayer. 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 It gets your business, it gets your children. Malita Sakabam. Some children can be doing well at a certain time. They will be programmed to miss it. They will be programmed to make a mistake that will destroy their life. They will destroy their destiny. Open your mouth and pray. And say tonight, Father, every plan for the enemy. Let it be destroyed now. Let it be destroyed now. Let it be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Something is happening tonight. Something is happening tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want you to, to pray tonight. We're gonna to say tonight, I cancel all evil vows that are affecting me negatively. Every vow that I've made, no, you know, no, you need that any man has made on my behalf that's affecting me negatively. I cancel them tonight. Anywhere any man or woman has taken my name to, has taken my name to, has taken my image to, has taken my photo to. You know, these days on social media, some people will come on social media on Facebook and take your picture, and you don't know what you are suffering. They will take your picture to a native doctor and say, This woman is in America, this woman is in London, this woman is in this place. She is doing well. I want you to bring her down. Rita Sakaba, I will put your mother and pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Anywhere my picture has been taken to, anywhere my name has been taken to, anywhere my children's pictures, that they will not get married, they will not do well in life, that my business will not rise. Though I'm in the United Kingdom, I will continue to suffer. Oh, put your mother and pray and say, I disagree with that report. I disagree tonight. Oh, put your mother and begin to decree. Masita Rababa, let me Cancel tonight in the name of Jesus. Let that plan be cancelled tonight. Let it be cancelled tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Masi take the sekeba. Malutu yakata shikaba. Rekete sekete lebrandi. Rimba sunduba. The Bible says in Matthew eighteen eighteen, who very very say unto you, who whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Rekata baya. I bind every work to the enemy. Over my life and destiny, I bind them tonight. Over my home, my home will not be scattered. My marriage will not be ended. In the name of Jesus, my children's life will not be wasted. Open your mouth tonight and pray. Something is happening tonight. Something is happening Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rama Sandala Kanda Shikabaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lima Seke Lima Surya Kabaya. Lima Surya Kanda Shindalabaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, God is saying to somebody here, Thank you, Jesus. Lima Yandaba. That your time. Of your visitation is well overdue but you stopped me you stopped me i was coming to visit you but you stopped me allow me to come in allow me to come in 
I was coming to visit you. Your time of visitation is well overdue. I was coming, but you stopped me. Allow me in. I want to change your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If that is you tonight, please. I don't know what, where you are allowing this allowing God into your life. I don't know. Is it because of the kind of life you are living? But Jesus wants to change your destiny. He cannot force you against your will. Allow him in. Hallelujah. Somebody here tonight, hear me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying to you that there are some things you need to remove. Very soon, your life will change. I keep hearing this thing all day today. Rain. Abundant rain is coming. Abundant rain of blessing is coming. Abundant rain of blessing is coming. And the well need to be cleared. The well, the well, the well, the well, the well. God wants to see the well of your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please begin to remove anything that's not of God. Take it away right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody is there tonight. Listen, the enemy has decided to sift you as a wheat. Sift you like a wheat. But God is saying tonight that I've come to deliver you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that person who has got that dream, that dream, that dream, listen to me tonight. I decree that negative dream is canceled now. In the name of Jesus, I command it right now to be canceled. In the name of Jesus, you shall live and not die. In the name of Jesus. I say you shall live and not die. In the name of Jesus. That person sees strange people, dead relatives. I command tonight, they shall not visit you anymore. In the name of Jesus, the power is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, the power is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree tonight, the power is broken. The Bible says, who is that person that will say a word and it will come to pass when God has not spoken? Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Do your work right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, that thing that's been planted in your body, the Lord is taking it out right now. God is removing it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Rimaya, divine oppression, divine surgery is taking place tonight. Divine surgery, divine surgery. God is removing, God is removing everything that's not of him. Malibabaya, Rima Setiba. Let it be gone, let it be gone, let it be gone. Yes, yes, let it be gone right now. Malibo, go! I command you out right now. Come on out. I rebuke you by the finger of God out right now. Come and go. Rabo Skinde. Rima Indaba out in the name of Jesus. I command to now. Lekande. Lesia. Riba Kuria. Hikeleba. Rebo Siala Kandeleba. I decree to now. Rando Kendelebra. Siaka. Riba Suriakai. Basike. Rindeba Kila Rose. Hear me tonight. God is moving in his power. Rikaba. Rekete Brasoto Yaba. Power of freedom. God is freeing people right now. For the prison of darkness, Rindaba, you that struggle to live right, Rekete, God is saying tonight, my power is upon you. From tonight, you begin to excel, Libaya, Rekebo, that marriage, the enemy has planned their downfall, I decree right now, peace is coming, joy is coming, restoration is coming to that marriage right now. Restoration is coming to that marriage right now. That spirit of confusion, you don't know why you argue sometimes. You don't know why everything needs to end in argument. Tonight, I've come tonight as a prophet of God. I command right now, let that spirit of confusion be rebuked right now in the name of Jesus. I decree in that marriage right now, you will have peace. Your peace will reign, Malakaba. The peace of God will reign right now, Maliba. Somebody listen tonight. Tonight, you are hearing me right now. Hear me. Yakutu Katasakaba, Libayebu. Your marriage has already been dissolved. Maliba, yeah. your husband has gone astray. He's even cheating right now. He has gone with another woman. Hear what the Lord is saying. God is saying, do not fight him. Malibayandi, go to your knees, go to your knees. Ribabaya Kandaba, go on your knees tonight. I will restore to your home. I will restore your home. I will restore your home. Thank you, Jesus. I will restore your home. Just trust me. I will restore your home. I will restore your home. Malika Deba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody tonight, you're hearing me. Malika de Sekete. Maluto Sekete Yakundi Baya. Rinde Baya. Anytime money wants to come to your hand, it will be taken away. Malika Deba. Rekete Sebo. It will be taken away. It will be taken away. Something will come and carry it away. God is 
seeing tonight, Malika to Sudaba, I have come, my child, recover from henceforth, from henceforth, do not be stingy unto me. Do not be stingy unto me. Malika, pay your vows, pay your vows. I will rebook the devourer. Rima Sekeba, the devil, I will rebook the devil. Malik, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, I want you to pray this prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, open any door. Any door that has been closed against me. Any door that has been closed against me, Father, tonight. Open it by fire. Let it open tonight. Every door, every door closed against my life. Begin to declare tonight. Let it open. Let it open. Let it open. Malakaba. Every door. Masikadaba. Close against my life. Open right now. In the name of Jesus. Ribabaya. Teketebaya. My destiny will not be masiketebrakuto. Open your mouth and pray tonight. And say by the power of God, I decree tonight. Every door the enemy has closed. I command it right now to be opened. Rasakataba. Reba, Ephrata, open, Ephrata, open, Ephrata, open right now. You will not give up. You will not give up. You will not give up at the point of your breakthrough. You will not give up at the point of your breakthrough. You will not turn back. You will not turn back. Rekata Sakaba, Rekete Se, Libutu, open, Ephrata, open. In front door, the enemy has closed against your life. I command it right now. As a prophet of God, I command, let it be open now. Malikabaya, by from this altar of new glory Christian center, I command that altar open now, open now, Malikaba, open now in the name of Jesus. Malikandeleba, Ribabayaba, Lord, begin to make a way for your children, even in the wilderness, Malabaya. All and glory, all and glory, all and glory. In all ramifications, Lord, I release your glory right now. Malabaya, all and glory. Malikaba, glory, glory, glory. Rande seketilaba, malikaba. Peace, peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. People will wonder, but why are you feel with joy? Why are you so peace? Why are you so happy? Why are you feel with joy? Malikaba, unusual joy, unusual peace. Receive it right now. Unspeakable peace. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Yes, receive it now. Malakaba, receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I declare right now. If you lift up your hand, wherever you are, those watching us online and those here in New Glory, please lift up your hands right now. I want to prophesy to, to your destiny. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just decree as many hands that are lifted up right now, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. That long life is their portion in the name of Jesus. I decree, Father, that every garment of shame and reproach, every garment of infirmity, every garment of failure, every garment of rising and falling, every garment of lukewarmness, I decree right now in the name of Jesus. Let it be removed right now. Come on! In the name of Jesus, I decree right now, Maluba, you filthy garment, garment of shame, garment of failure, I tear you apart right now. By the fire of God, I command right now, this ones, recover, are covered with the blood of Jesus. This ones, you kingdom of darkness, I rebook you from the hands, from the lives of this ones. In the name of Jesus, I rebook you right now. Rindabaya, Rikadabos, go! In the name of Jesus. These ones are covered with the blood of Jesus. These ones, Malikaba, they will control to celebrate life. In the name of Jesus. Every heart in any situation they are going through, I command right now, let there be favor, favor, favor. Rikaba, God, you are the lifter of men. It is you that lift up men. You lift up people up. Malikaba, Lord, begin to lift your people. Begin to lift up your people. Even if their hands are lifted up, begin to lift them up. Begin to lift them. Begin to lift them. Begin to lift them, lift them right now. Divine lifting, divine lifting. I prophesy to you right now. Let God lift you higher. Let God lift you higher. Let God begin to lift you. Let God begin to lift you. In the name of Jesus, Ramayaba, you will remain up. You will never be down. In the name of Jesus, I decree it is well with you. I decree God's favor we visit you. God will surround you with favor as a shield. In the name of Jesus, I decree in this season you are blessed. In the name of Jesus, even as you are fasting and praying these 21 days, heaven will smile upon you. The door of heaven will be open unto you. The storehouse of heaven will be open unto you. Anything you desire shall not be cut off from you. In the name of Jesus, that woman expecting her documents, I command right now, let it be released by fire. Any person did your case dealing with your documents i decree right now let it be released now we command under 
14 days. Let it be released to you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. Amen. Those watching us online, okay, I'm going to hand over to Brysik to continue from here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time and all the time the Lord is good. Thank you so much, Pastor, for that wonderful uh, prophetic uh, ministration. Uh, we heard the word and we prayed with the word. And I believe as many that joined to pray those prayers, I trust, I trust that the glory that has departed, that has once departed in your life, in your family, in your homes, has returned in the name of Jesus Christ. It has returned in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we go, I will just leave you with one word. We do not intend to take your time anymore. Uh, the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 10, what Jesus Christ said. Revelations, chapter 3, verse 10. I think uh, Pastor mentioned something uh, regarding that. He said, Revelations 3, 10 says, praise the Lord. Revelations 3, 10, since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial. I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth. And verse 20 says something of the same verse, uh, Revelation 3. It says, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. So I enjoin you, I enjoin you to remain in an atmosphere of, of keeping of keeping what you have gotten today. Uh, it is not enough to come to God and, and, and receive blessings and want to run away. He, he enjoins us to have a fellowship with him. He wants us to open the door of our hearts every time so that he can come in, so that he can wine with us, he can dine with us, he can sup with us. Beyond anything, beyond anything that you might be seeking from God, God wants more than anything our fellowship with him. He wants us to have a relationship with, me, with him. And you would agree with me that the, the basis or the bedrock of any kind of partnership is relationship. So if you want God to win in your life, you want God to, to always make you come out tops, you must always enjoy uh, ensure that you have a wonderful relationship with God, a wonderful relationship with God. Uh, you wake up in the morning, you invite him into your day, you set the day rolling by first speaking to God. That's, that's relationship. So I enjoy as many that has been a part of this cast today, that the Lord will not leave you. The Lord will continue to uphold you and strengthen you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, just a reminder that this cast has come to us, uh, courtesy New Glory Christian Center International ministries, uh, a ministry where uh, we, we, we put uh, in the pride of place the word of God. The word of God is paramount to us. Uh, we do not glory in any other thing, but we glory on the word of God. And, and our meetings like this on Wednesdays will be the hour of freedom where we actually uh, confront and conquer our fears because God says he has not given us the spirit of fear but of boldness and of sound mind. So when we come on Wednesdays like this, we actually confront, uh, not in our name, but in the name of the Lord God Almighty, the mighty one that is with us. We confront all of our challenges, all of our obstacles, all of our fears, and we conquer them. So uh, join us every Wednesday like this from 9 p.m. till around 10 p.m. UK time. And on Fridays, we'll have our Bible study uh, where we actually share the word of God. We look to the letters of the word of God and the word of God uh, ministers to us. And each one has an opportunity to, to, to share the word of God. And we are being sharpened. We are being edified one by another. So I, I join you to also be part of that ministration. And on Sunday, on Sunday is our Sunday encounter meeting. Uh, a time where we also uh, hear what God is saying to us part time, uh, what he wants us to know and what he wants us to do in this time and this season. As you become a part of this program, I pray that the Lord God Almighty uh, will make your trajectory to be upward ever, onward ever, forward ever in the name of Jesus Christ. And the glory that has returned today will remain permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I leave you in the presence of God. God bless you and have a wonderful evening.
गुड नाइट